Oh yeah. Uh, 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 feels good. Feels good. Hey, yo, what's up, good people? It's your girl, Songbird. Dante Black. And we're back for another episode of your favorite internet show, Polar Opposites, The Melanin Edition. What are you doing? I'm letting people see different angles. That, that's how they used to do videos in the 90s where they just do raw moves like that. They wouldn't really dance a lot of the time unless they had a, you know, choreographed dance move. But in the videos, they just be real close at like weird angles. Nigga don't dance no more. All we do is this. All we do is this. All we do is That's this. not true. All they do is this now. All right. So let's get into today's episode. For our... <laughs> For our first time visitors, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and the notification bell so that you're notified every time a new episode of Polar Opposites, the Melanin Edition, pops up. And for our returning opposite fam, what's up, cuz? Thanks for tuning back in. All right, so let's get into today's topic. Why don't single women have any shame in sleeping with married men? Now, if you look at it a lot of the time, the single women that do sleep with married men, they're A-OK -okay with that. They have no shame. They're OK with being the side chick. As long as they get in their nails done every other week, they're getting their hair done every other week. He bought a couple bundles. He might throw in a little extra for her to pay her rent. Then she seems to be good. And he breaking her off whenever he needs That raw something. dick. Breaking that raw dick. Let's just understand that. That's part of the package. Not the package, but... Part but of agreement. a lot of females seem to be okay with that. And I'm not sure why. Why do you feel okay sharing dick? I will never understand that. Sharing is caring. No, not that. They teach you that in Ella Damn Mitchell. No, I don't like sharing my food. I don't like sharing my money. And I don't like sharing my men. I have made that perfectly clear in multiple videos. So why would you feel okay with sharing somebody else's man's dick? With them. For the benefits. Because you have to look at it this way. It's like you said earlier. Why would you put yourself in a situation to be in a relationship to get cheated on? Now, this is a, this is their point of view. This is the way they're seeing it. So that's why I'm saying it in this way. If I want sex, all I got to do is hit him up and get sex. I don't have to worry about remembering his birthday. I don't have to worry about remembering... Um, uh, anniversaries, being with him on holidays and all that. I need a bill paid? Just go ahead and hit him up. He go ahead and take, that, take care of that because at that point now it's a rush or it's a um, um, what, what do they call it? Like It's an adrenaline rush. That's what it is. Adrenaline mm -hmm. rush that I'm with somebody I'm not supposed to be with and we doing things we're not supposed to do so it makes the sex that much better. So that's why but they see, do it. That's the thing. You can't hit him up because he's married. If he wants something, then he hits you up. No, they hit you up. You know that you got to be, listen, you got to be different about it. Some guys, they go to the extent they'll get another cell phone. They, some guys, depending on their profession, they may have a beeper. They may have a beeper. Okay. You know, they may be saved in that personal phone under Aunt Sally or something like that. And hit you up, oh, you busy? Can you come out? And you're like, oh, me and the wife about to go to bed. I'm going to give this motherfucker a shot of night quill, knock her out, and I'll be outside. You know, things like that. It's a rush. It's a adrenaline rush for them, and it also turns the guy on. So females are comfortable with doing that kind of stuff because they, they essentially, they're in the best position because he's not going to tell them no because if he does say no, then she'll out the whole situation. He can't say, no, I ain't paying this bill. No, I can't get your hair done. No, I can't get this. I can't pay that. No, I can't do that. He not going to say that. And a female knows it. So that's why they're okay with doing it. They're getting their whatever they want out the deal. They give him a little piece of coochie. And he going about his business. The only person that's really losing in this situation, to be completely honest with you, is probably the wife. She's the one who's really losing in it because she's the one being cheated on. And... You know, the finances that's supposed to be coming into our house is going into some other bitch house to fulfill his fantasy or, you know, lack thereof. But this is my thing. If she outs the whole situation, one, she ain't going to keep getting her hair, nails, and all that stuff. So 
when she tells the wife, it's gonna make her look like a hoe. The wife gonna look stupid and the man gonna look like a cheater. But see, here's the thing. If she out the whole situation, see, in, in God's mind, we're stupid. Oh, if she say something, oh man, that's finna be the end. That's finna end all be all. I ain't finna be hitting her no more. My wife finna divorce me. I'm finna lose the house, lose the kid. That's that's what how married men think. That's how they think. So all she gotta do is just hit like, hey man, you gotta keep doing what you're doing. Or you know, I don't got no problem telling your wife. She ain't really gonna tell the wife because she she stands to lose a lot. Because you probably paying her light bill every month. Without her asking, you giving up money for gas or whatever she need, probably feeding her kids. She not finna cut that off for what? Telling your wife? That's that's stupid. Well, is that technically blackmail? Yeah, it's black. It's blackmail, but you gotta understand like this: he's the one married. She ain't the one married. So he stepped out of the relationship. So every so, and this may sound this may sound bad. So the consequence for you stepping outside of your relationship. Is now you got to do whatever I say. But I'm, uh, I don't know. I I guess I just have too too much integrity in myself. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I can't do that. Like if you clearly showing me that you'll cheat on someone you vowed to love forever and only be with, what kind of man really are you? The man that they have no intention of being with long term because they can see what he can do. So they might as well. If you're going to do but it. But if, you if you're not going to be with him long term, why would you even fuck him? To get what you're going to get out of him. It's, it's, at that point, it's, it's more so of a business thing. Like, okay, so you want to step out on your wife? You want me? Okay, well, this is the cost to get me. And so that's you, like you prostitution. Gotta, you know what? If you think it's Sounds prostitution. Sounds like organized prostitution. It may be. It may be. It may be organized prostitution, but that's how that's how it works. Do I think it's right? No. Do I think that is that is correct? No. I think it's it's for whatever you want it to be. If you feel like it's right, then it'll be right. If you feel like it's wrong, it'll be wrong. At the end of the day, you have to understand. Whenever you make a decision, no matter what decision you make, that's the decision you got to live with. Hmm. All right, guys. Bottom line is, don't cheat. If you feel like you're going to cheat, don't get married. That's just, that's my way to put it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, tag a friend, tell a friend. Tag a side piece. Tag a side piece. Tag somebody in it that you know they sleeping with a married oh, man. Or tag somebody oh. that you know sleeping with a married woman. Because we ain't going to get everybody, everybody, listen, it don't, don't go only one way. There's a lot of married women that's out here that's not happy. Is and they're getting that side meat. They going to the college camp and get that young strong thing. Ooh, sweat your back. Uh-huh. Like, boy, you got only Roman Roman noodles in your in your in your, your, um, your dorm room? Let's go get you some hot pockets. Baby. Let's get you some hot pockets, but I need you to get up in this hot pocket first. Ew. <laughs> oh, I miss college. Alright, guys. We'll see you next week. Songbird. Don't do that. Peace.